about YouTube. It's been a while. It's Helen. Hi! Um, me and Laura haven't done videos in a long time and I really wanted to get back into doing it so I thought why not start everything off again by doing a haul video because everyone loves a good haul video. I love watching haul videos and it's just fun to see what the people are buying so you can have a look at prices, get some ideas of stuff that you want for yourself. So I thought this would be a really good start. So I went shopping in Newcastle today uh, with my boyfriend, we did some shopping, I was meant to do some Christmas shopping, ended up buying everything for myself, it happens, it's fine, whatever. Um, so I only bought some stuff from Primark because that was the main place that I wanted to go. Um, I got some stuff from Forbidden Planet, I got some stuff from Urban Outfitters and just bought some snacks and some bath bombs from Lush obviously because everyone knows if you're going somewhere with Lush you have to buy some Lush bombs. So I'll start with the Primark stuff because this is all the Disney stuff that I've bought today because obviously whenever it comes to Primark you need to buy Disney things. Um, so I'm just going to go into the bag. I only bought a few things. I didn't go crazy. So these are the Christmas baubles that I've bought because I can't not go into a uh, Primark and get some Disney baubles. So these are £4 for six. I have four of the really glittery Minnie Mouse ones that they brought out last year and I absolutely loved them and I missed out on getting the smaller ones and this year they brought out some small glittery ones so I bought those so they're really cute and glittery and you can't go wrong with a bit of glitter so there's those I also bought the bigger Minnie Mouse ones because they're pink and they're pretty and <laughs> I just thought they were really cute I don't really have a lot of pink things so and then when I saw them I fell in love straight away and I was like, they're worth the four pound, four pound for four big mini mouse baubles. How amazing is that? Another thing that I bought which I didn't even know existed was this Cogsworth bubble bath. I mostly bought it just so I could keep the Cogsworth afterwards. It was five pound for the bubble bath. He's got his little hair, whatever you want to call it, there. His little tag and, oh my god, and he's a working clock so he spins. So you can change the time on him. How cute is that? I didn't check if it smelt good. I just bought it. I got really excited. Um, but this was only £5 from Primark and I didn't even know it existed. Like normally I follow Disney Find on f Instagram and Facebook and everything. And apparently I missed this because when I checked Disney Find I was going to message him like, have you seen this? But it's already on there and I just didn't see it. But how cute is it? So I can't wait to use that. The last thing... That actually wasn't for me, so I kind of lied at the beginning when I said I spent everything on myself. This is my, well not mine, and um, this is a really cute Bambi frame and it just says dream big little one. And one of my best friends, well my best friend Hayley, is having a baby. She, he's, she is due in January and it's pink, she's having a boy, but Bambi's a boy. So I thought why not, it's really cute. And this was three pound down from six pound. I kept all the price tags on because I'm silly. Um, but I just thought it'd be really cute. It's something she can put in his bedroom. I know it's pink, but I hope people will just ignore the pink. The next stuff will be the stuff that I bought from um, Urban Outfitters because I don't really normally buy things from Urban Outfitters, but I saw these um, stemless glasses that have cats on. It's got a cat face and one of them says meow with little cat whiskers on. And I absolutely love cats. I know you've seen it in any of my other videos, my cat normally runs around, but sadly he passed away. We had to put him down a couple of months ago, so he won't be making any any um, appearances in any of my videos at the moment, which is a shame. Well, ever. Not at the moment, but, um, but I still love cats. So I bought this for myself. They were £14 from Urban Outfitters, and they're just really cute, and so I thought, why not? And then another thing, the last thing that I bought, because I tend to not buy anything, like, a lot from Urban Outfitters, like I said, it's not, it has really nice clothes, I just can't afford the clothes. Um, but this one was meant to be £6, I didn't even check the price when I took it to the till because I wanted it that bad. Um, if any of you know, I'm a photographer, and I saw this, and I think it's meant to be wrapping paper, but I bought it for, to go on my wall. Um, it's just got different cameras and different um, like advertisements for cameras and how to use cameras So there's like Kodak and Hawkeye and so many really cool things on here and I love it and it was only a pound when I took it to the till I was expecting like honestly I should have checked the price it was six pound if I had looked I would never have paid this but I took the till it was like oh it's only a pound I was like get in um, so yeah that's gonna go on my wall and if you can't see it all it's a bit bendy I should have he did really well like rolling it up, bless him. 
So yeah, that was another thing I put on myself. Um, so, the Forbidden Planet stuff is a little bit of a mix. I bought a Disney thing because, well, well two Disney things actually, because anytime I see Disney, I'm there. So I'll talk about the Disney things first because everyone's usually more interested in the Disney stuff. So I bought one of these Beauty and the Beast mystery boxes. Um, I really, really wanted the Lumiere because Lumiere is my favourite and I really, really wanted the Lumiere and when I opened it up, I got Belle so I can't really be disappointed and look how cute she is. She can go on my... Oh, she can go on my shelf with all my other belt. Well, my two other <laughs> Beauty and the Beast things that I have up there and she's just really cute. So that's something cute to go on my shelf. And another thing I got was another mystery box, but this one was a villains one because I don't have a lot of things with Disney villains on. Um, my favourite ones are Oogie Boogie and um, Maleficent, so I was hoping to get Maleficent because she's on the back of this one. Well, it's her as the dragon, which is pretty cool. Um, <coughs> but I got Lucifer, which is exciting because Cinderella is my favourite princess and you don't really see a lot of Lucifer things these days but I got Lucifer. It's not going to go on my key ring because I have too many things on my keys at the moment. Um, but it's just really cute and I was really excited when I opened it and I found Lucifer. Um, another thing that I bought... Well, my boyfriend wanted it because he wanted Batman and we and I said look if you really want the Batman chances are you're not gonna get the Batman and he got Superman <laughs> and he hates Superman like with a passion he only he made me keep it but um he said it makes him a little bit cooler because he's got like the red eyes I, I don't know um so yeah Superman and then lastly I bought Rick and Morty coasters because why not so this one is says I want that Szechuan McNugget sauce Szechuan sauce so I got that one um that's really cool love Rick and Morty and um my ease is Rick's gym that's him when he's working out very cool I love Rick and Morty so finally getting a few things of Rick and Morty for when we eventually get a place together because I still live with my parents um, so we're slowly adding things that we can have when we get a place together. Okay, so for the Lush bath bombs, oh my god, I was so happy to go in Lush today. It was so exciting and my boyfriend's not really into Lush bath bombs and I just realised I gave him my bath bomb. No! Oh no, he got one of my bath bombs. Oopsie. Oh well. Um, I was meant to get the rocket one and I didn't take a picture of it so I can't even show you it. But we got these ones. I can't remember the name of this one, it's the intergalactic one. Um, I've used this one before and it smells incredible. And he'll have to have this one back because I've used, like I said, I've used it before, I don't need that one. But it smells incredible. And this is the first time I've used this one, it's the dragon eggs one. And it's so pretty and again it just smells incredible, I love Lush. Um, I'll see if I can include a picture of the one that I did buy. I should have taken a picture of it when I did the demonstration. But um, it's the rocket ship. And if anyone is thinking of buying it, if you've seen it and you wanted to buy it, the guy that worked there said if you, when you're in the bath, don't put it, just don't just throw it in. If you have it in your hand and you gently lower it into the water, it um, floats. So then it starts to like move around the bath so it, it's blue but when it's come it's got like yellow inside so as it's starting to fit the yellow starts to come out and it looks like it's like flying across your bath it looked incredible when he showed me it and I should have taken a picture of it but I didn't think that I was going to be stupid enough to give my boyfriend two of the rockets and take his bath bomb oh well I'd be like that's just that's just me in a nutshell um and then, well I suppose I can show you the snacks I bought too, because why not? Hershey's Cookies and Cream Drops and Reese's Snack Mix, because I love it. They're just so nice. So yeah, there was just a really quick video, just to sort of be like, Hi, it's Helen, I'm back. And uh, hopefully I'll be doing more videos, I need to start making some ideas of things to do, even if I just start blogging when I'm doing something that's not just sitting at home playing Spyro the Dragon on my PlayStation 1. So thank you for watching. Um, if you have if you have any other kind of videos you want me to do, um, just let me know in the comments because me and Laura usually we, we want to do some more videos. I've got some of those jelly beans, not the bamboozled, the bean boozled 
whatever they're called. Um, so we wanted to do the, the jelly bean challenge at some point. It's just finding time to do it. So thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully I'll see more of you. Hopefully I'll make more videos and hopefully you like this one. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Bye.